we will uh, create a VPC with public and private subnet. Now VPC is a uh, virtual private cloud uh, and you know it's a ser service that is provided by Amazon Web Services uh, and you know you might ask why we need public and private subnets. Uh, there are many cases where you will want some of your uh, resources in a private subnet which is uh, not accessible from the internet and which doesn't mean that it it won't have any contact with the internet but we can have um, you know net instances and bastion host uh, connecting uh, you from outside to the inside but you know usually a, this is an architecture that is used that's public and private and in this um, image you can see that um, we have a VPC you know which is this big box uh, the public subnet uh, where a web server is there and a web server is a uh, thing that everyone connects to everyone requests something and you get back so you it has to be in a public um, and a SQL server a database that is in a private subnet which no, you know, doesn't have to be access, you know, uh, accessed by uh, customers, at least directly. Um, and we are going to make uh, one public and one private subnet, uh, starting with a new VPC. Uh, so VPC first will create a public subnet, a private subnet, um, and there's going to be an internet gateway, uh, and we'll have a route table uh, to um, to separate what uh, you know which subnet is accessible to the internet and that's basically it you know just having an access to the internet will make your subnet public and if it doesn't have uh, access to the internet then it's private so that's it and we let's get started okay so like I said we will need to create a VPC, uh, Internet Gateway, Subnet, and Route Tables. So first step is to go to uh, go to the VPC. And you know, Amazon has this uh, thing called VPC Wizard, which you can use, but I usually just um, click on create VPC and name tag I'm gonna put my VPC it can be anything anything you prefer now the cider is uh, important um, you know it could be anything pretty much everything I mean anything but it's usually a good idea to use private uh, IP address classes um, which start from 10 dot or 172 dot or 192 dot and sometimes if you're doing things like VPC peering then you have to be mindful that um, the subnets are uh, of different uh, CIDR but when you are creating a VPC you, you know, usually start with 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 or 172 or 192 and this time we'll just do uh, with the 10 everything else is default we don't need an IPv6 create 16 okay so you can see this is the VPC this was the default VPC and um, okay so we're going to make Subnets. And the first subnet is going to be public. So I'm just going to name it the public subnet. Uh, my VPC, make sure you choose my VPC and not the default. And the CIDR is going to be 10.0. .0 0.0 0 
our VPC was 16 let's make this 24 availability zone let's do it 2a US to S 2a the other one will make it 2b create okay so this is default the scheme default so I'm just gonna name it default and this is optional it will just make your life easier when you're trying to find out which one you need uh, so one more subnet is going to be my private private subnet and it's going to sit on my VPC uh, cider is going to be uh, um, this one we're going to do 2b because we did 2a for the first one cider is going to be 10.0. .0. Um, one dot zero slash twenty four. So the first one was ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. This one is one dot zero. Okay, so we have public subnet and private subnet. So if we go back to the the diagram, you know, we're gonna kind of base our uh, our lab on this. We we obviously won't have the web server and SQL server, but we're just gonna create the basic the underlying infrastructure. And the thing we will need is an internet gateway. Now, if you look at our VPC, um, uh, if you go down to internet gateways, now if you know the VPC ID, which is VPC ACC something this is the default VPC so we don't have an internet gateway for our VPC so we just create click on create internet gateway it's this simple so we say I my IGW my internet gateway create okay it's detached right now attached to VPC and obviously you only see one VPC because on one VPC can only have one gateway attach and we go back to this we have a private subnet a public subnet uh, well at least two different subnets uh, an internet gateway now we need to make them actually public and private and like I said earlier how we do that is through a route table and we're gonna create a new route table uh, name it well, let's see what this has. Okay, so this has, um, let me call this private route table. Create a new route table, public route table. Okay, my VPC, create. Okay, so we have a public route table and private route table. If you go to pub private and scroll down, the destination is only the VPC local target. So that's good. But in the public route table, we need a destination to the internet. And we're going to do that by clicking edit, add another route. Destination is going to be 000 slash 0, which means anywhere in the internet. And if you just click on this box, you'll see the options to select your gateway, which we only, uh, which is the only one. So press on this and click on save. Right. So we have a gateway. Um, okay. So one last thing before we uh, we stop, I had to come back and re-record the video because I saw that. Uh, we did not have a subnet associated with the route tables and I don't know what you have right now but if you don't see this on the third tab here associated subnet one um, let's quickly do this exercise where um, 
you know, I'm gonna remove the subnet uh, from the route tables. So right now, um, I'm gonna have start with. So if you have one subnet and one subnet in public and private, if you're following me, then that's great. But if not, if you have zero, then what you can do to associate the route table with the subnet you want is to first of all press on public edit and just press on this public subnet save okay and private same thing edit um, private save and now you should have your route tables associated with the subnet if you did not have it already I just wanted to make sure because it's, a, it's an important part if it's not associated then having a whole route table doesn't make any sense so this will complete our uh, lab we have created a VPC two subnets added an internet gateway and gave one of the subnets a route to the internet through the gateway with by creating a route table we created we created two route tables so basically a route to the internet it makes a subnet public a route not having not um, having a route to the internet makes it private uh, where you usually store stuff like your database servers a public subnet has web servers and that kind of stuff and um, so that is it guys and we are going to uh, wrap up and if you have any questions just post them in the comments watch other videos that i have about amazon web services and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching